a very good morning and a warm welcome you all to our orientation session uh, where we'll explain you about our four weeks industry ready architecture batch which can be done online or offline if you're close to pcmc in pimpri chinchwad you can do it offline as well or else uh, as usual as we have done our previous four batches you can do it online as well so we'll start it um, so again a warm welcome to all who are we no how schools is a dpit government of india recognized startup who is uh, which is established in year 2018 and till date we have skilled about 1900 plus civil architecture students working engineers graduate architects and we conduct professional training at architectural firms and at civil engineering places as well the training has been last year certified by construction skill development council as well so what is that we need skills in architecture let's have a look at that uh, the training in the last four batches has been done by about uh, 150 to 175 students from this all reputed colleges be it symboises siagar sb patel dy patel bnca are ye to mera wala college hai so if you are from any of these colleges and if you need to know that which of your seniors had done this particular training when they were in third fourth fifth year like you you can reach out to us our number has been provided in the message we'll share it again so you can reach out to us and you can take the names of your seniors who have done this training uh sir can we have some feedbacks yes these are the feedbacks of students from various colleges uh which will come back later right so first let us try to understand what is this training all about isme hota kya hai so as we say this is industry ready architecture so whatever is being covered in the academics which is very important how do we apply it to practical from an practicing architect we try to understand all of those things so we take a live design project we take an actual plot size and we start designing it but we don't tell you anything about architecture wise aap ye karo wo karo that is completely up to you obviously we'll give suggestions but the main thing that we do here is in week 1 in a plot potential we won't start with a complete freedom jo chahiye wo banao practical it doesn't work that way those of you jinke ghar pe seniors hai ya cousins hai jinhone architect hai jo professionally working karte hai there's something important called as bylaws dc rules so for that particular plot size considering what are the rules what are the fsi allowable in the first week we first deal about fsi statement bylaws total potential kya hoga mere project ka and something very important called as dbr design brief report what does the client want what are the questions that need to be asked to the client and at the end of the one week we are somewhere close to this stage i'll show you the actual work done of uh, students like you in the previous batches so this is the work done by one of the group of a previous batch so as you can see here uh, as we start our training first of all they start with the fsi statement the फ्लोर प्लेट स्टेटमेंट कि मेरे इसमें पोटेंशियल कितना बनेगा प्लॉट में मेरा कितना आएगा सो दिस इज द काइंड ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट दैट यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट दैट यू विल बी एबल टू प्रिपेयर वॉट जस्ट अ सेकेंड आई गेस इट्स नॉट विजिबल आई जस्ट शेयर इट अनिकेत यू कैन जस्ट कन्फर्म to me when the screen is visible uh yes yeah right now the fsi statement is visible right uh, yes yeah, sir uh, it's visible yeah so this is a typical fsi statement that you would be preparing in the week 1 and based on this what are my deductions based on the udcpr unified dc rules what is the fsi based on premium what is the ancillary fsi what max floor plat i can do रेफ्यूज एरिया कितना छोड़ना पड़ेगा प्रैक्टिकली वी आर टू बिल्ड अ बिल्डिंग राइट सो ये पूरा स्टेटमेंट इसके लिए पार्किंग्स कितने लगेंगे वी कॉन्ट एंड अपट आई एम हैविंग अ हाई राइज थर्टी स्टोरेड बिल्डिंग 
एंड मेरे टोटल थर्टीन टू फोर वन ट्वेंटी अपार्टमेंट हो रहे हैं बट पार्किंग उससे उतना नहीं मिल पा रहा है दैट इज नॉट एक्सेप्टेबल तो बेस्ड ऑन दिस पार्किंग स्टेटमेंट कितना लगेगा एंड एवरीथिंग दिस इज वॉट इज द फर्स्ट स्टेज फ्रॉम हियर इट विल स्टार्ट बेस्ड ऑन दिस यू विल एंड अप प्रिपेरिंग अ फ्लोर प्लान ऑन योर ओन इन अ ग्रुप सो आर वीकली सेशन दो तीन सेशन होते हैं यहाँ पे एवरी वीक में जो थ्री सेशन होंगे विल बी हैविंग डिजाइन रिव्यू सेशन जहाँ पे द यूनिट प्लान द फ्लोर प्लान दैट यूल प्रिपेयर प्रोफेशनल प्रैक्टिसिंग आर्किटेक्ट विल टेल यू इसमें क्या चेंजेस करने हैं क्या करने हैं राइट प्योर आर्किटेक्चर प्लान दिस इज वॉट यू हैव बीन डूइंग इन कॉलेजेस राइट सो यहाँ तक वंस वी कम ऑन द सेम पेज हाउ इज द नेम प्लेट टू बी प्रिपेयर एवरीथिंग टू बी प्रिपेयर ना स्टार्ट आर कोर्स फ्रॉम द वेरियस कंसल्टेंट्स परस्पेक्टिव वेन वी डिजाइन अ प्रोजेक्ट आर्किटेक्चरली प्रैक्टिकली प्रोजेक्ट्स में कहा पे दिक्कत आती है इवन फॉर आर्किटेक्ट्स विद थ्री इयर्स फाइव इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस उसमें जो सर्विसेस होते हैं एंड जो आरसीसी एलिमेंट्स होते हैं वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड देयर लैंग्वेज एज वेल एंड वी शुड बी एबल टू कोऑर्डिनेट विद देम एज वेल सो व्हाट शैल बी द वेरियस एम ड्राइंग्स प्लम्बिंग एंड इलेक्ट्रिकल ड्रॉइंग्स दैट अंडर प्रोफेशनल एम ई हियर यू विल बी इनकॉर्पोरेटिंग ऑन योर ड्रॉइंग्स लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ वी सी वर्किंग ऑफ this previous batch which have done they have prepared their own plumbing plans that how shall be my toilet fixtures uh, how will be my pipeline diversions from where my downtake lines will come down where in i'll need the elevation features now when we do a project why is this all important for an architect to know because if you see here we need to club toilets as max as possible they need to be grouped together ताकि प्रोजेक्ट कॉस्ट बिकम्स लो साथ में जब डाउन टेक्स आएंगे द कॉस्ट ऑफ एग्जीक्यूशन इम्प्लीमेंटेशन कॉस्ट वुड बी लो अगर सारे टॉयलेट्स अलग अलग जगह पे है दैट वोट बी इकोनॉमिकल डिजाइन एंड द मेन इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ दिस कोर्स इज वेन एवर यू विल ग्रेजुएट एज प्रोफेशनल आर्किटेक्ट यू विल बी पीचिंग योर डिजाइन टू अ नंबर यू विल बी जैसे आपके पास एक क्लाइंट होंगे they'll be taking designs from minimum 3 to 4 architects so max apni design jitni optimum hai our chances of getting the work becomes higher so an architect who's good with design best who's good with udcpr rules great who's good with plumbing and electrical bhi inko samajhta hai they can coordinate they can understand the language great because now there are number of systems jaise in this particular drawing you'd see there are two down techs one green which is taking the waste from your basin and your shower area which is called the waste line and this is the red line which is taking your waste from the wc which is called the soil waste now if you see here yahan pe do down techs niche leke gaye hai so if this is a 8 story 12 story building good enough no issue but agar meri high rise hai 30 story building se 50 story uh, ki building hai this thing is not feasible दो के बदले एक पाइपलाइन में अपन कैसे लेके जा सकते हैं वॉट इज दैट प्लम्बिंग सिस्टम कॉल्ड वी एज एन आर्किटेक्ट एज वेल शुड बी एबल टू स्पीक द एम ई पी लैंग्वेज दैट इज मैकेनिकल इलेक्ट्रिकल प्लम्बिंग सो एज आर वीक टू प्रोग्रेस ड्यूरिंग द कोर्स प्रोफेशनल कंसल्टेंट विल बी टेलिंग यू हाउ डू वी प्रिपेयर इलेक्ट्रिकल प्लम्बिंग वेंटिलेशन एंड फायर ड्रॉइंग्स एंड दैट विल बी इनकॉर्पोरेटिंग इन आर ड्रॉइंग कम्स वीक थ्री in week 3 will be dealing with the landscaping and elevation things and having basic intro to revit so our sections and everything are way important like for example if you see your south side elevations sections and everything this you'd end up preparing in a group of four or five whatsoever your group is and will be coming with this Now, sir, ये तो कॉलेज में भी सिखाते हैं वाई डू वी नीड दिस इन कोर्स प्रोफेशनली टॉयलेट को आप सन कितना लोगे सेवेंटी फाइव एम एम वन फिफ्टी एम एम नाउ देर आर प्लम्बिंग सिस्टम विच डू नॉट रिक्वायर सम प्लम्बिंग सिस्टम जो अपने को अपने एलिवेशन में इनकॉर्पोरेट करनी पड़ेगी लेट मी गिव यू अनदर वन एग्जाम्पल अ टिपिकल एग्जाम्पल 
these days there's no lot of open space in the project so the entire uh, plot area except the side margins is occupied by the building then when do we provide the where do we provide the amenity on the terrace floor now when we provide the amenities on the terrace floor what happens to the solar water system which is a compulsory uh, norm in pcmc in pmc in pune and in udcpr all over maharashtra so many a times even the client doesn't understand they hire only architect and architect prepares the design and then it goes for the structural design and the project starts execution and mep consultants comes at a very later stage but by this time it's too late the mep consultant says where do i provide my solar water thing on the terrace so we might have given them a particular space but if we as architect do not know the calculations that how much area do i need for my solar panel what should be the ideal capacities of my tanks and everything many a times in the ongoing projects you would see that the terrace elevations the terrace amenities usually encounter changes during the execution so we as an architect should be pitching the client i can provide you centralized coordinated services for mechanical electrical plumbing and my designs would be considering all of this services so that goes behind preparing the elevation and section it's not just that floor plan per se i can prepare elevation and section no doubt we can but considering the service aspects we should be able to now comes the most tricky part which is the core essence of this course the main reason of this course is structural aspects in our drawing so the week 4 content structural aspects beam framing column positioning let me explain you with a small example suppose i have prepared this floor plan and this floor plan looks good to me everything is good the circulation everything is good that may vary from architect to architect my perspective my design won't be good for you your design may not be so that great for me but that's the beauty of architecture our individual freedom our own design aspects but what is the repercussion of this particular floor plans at the parking level is very important to understand parkings are governed by column positions column positions are governed by beam framing and beam framing comes from your planning getting i'll re explain suppose if i have prepared this particular floor plan where shall my beams be mere beams kahan pe aayenge wherever i have the walls right now wherever i have the walls at the corner i'll place columns right now ye columns jaha pe parking floor mein niche jayenge the gap between two columns will decide the number of car parks available now what is the standard size of car park that we provide anyone a standard size of a car park that we provide it's 2.5 by 5 meter right so for a 2.5 meter car for me to not waste my space on parking floor i should be able to fit as many cars as possible because parking is the many challenge the only challenge which decides the number of flats these days because fsi is practically infinite with a 3.6 fsi permissible now you can build as many floors as possible provided you can provide parking to that many flats right so here at our course under the guidance of structural consultants you are thought about how can we change the beam framing what should be the ideal dimensions of the room so that based on the beam framing how can we ensure proper column grid a column grid such that i can have my maximum utilization of the parking right now this thing is all done on autocad and everything but what does a site engineer require our design processes floor plans and beam framing and column position and parking and so on right and we get the column positions at very last but on site the sequence is exactly opposite on a barren plot on a bare plot the first thing that the engineer requires is column positions which is given by various working drawings so in the week 
we will proceed to preparing a complete set of this 10 to 11 working drawings and it starts with our first of all center line plan so you have a origin you have a origin which you take as a reference and from there we start with marking our various columns with its center line this is the first drawing which is supposed to be released by an architect on site so here at know how course we'll be learning to prepare this particular drawings mind you all of these drawings that i'm showing are prepared by the students at the end of this course so for a particular column say c1 how can i locate this particular column on site architect have to give me the c1 columns x coordinate and it's y coordinate so while this drawing might appear complex it's simple as such so with a little guidance from professional working architects you should be able to prepare this after center line and setting out which are the first two drawings that you need to release on site uh, now these two drawings are important to locate your building on site so at know how you'll be able to prepare these things after this you'll be able to on your floor plan you'll be able to do a whole beam framing as well so no structural consultant will be able to tell you that this is not possible that is not possible already you will be knowing their language so this is a beam framing prepared by students as you can see the blue dotted lines are the beams and my beach beam will rest on which column has been done by the students. Sir, we can do this too, right? Walls. We will take a beam on the wall. And we need a column on the beam on the end. Well, if you end doing that, there will be about 60-70 columns where only 25 columns can be done. So how do the beam rest on beams as well? That is thought at know-how. For example, if you see here, suppose this is the bedroom wall, right? This is the wall. A wall, for wall to rest, we should have a beam below it. Right. So now if I do a beam below this, the blue dotted beam, and if by conventional logic, if I place a column here, and if I again place a column here, what will happen to the parking layout? You can see, I would have had a column here as well. So my, this parking should have gone, right? So beams do not only rest on columns, but beams can be rested on beams as well. And that beam in turn would rest on a column which is called primary beam, secondary beam concept. So this whole beam framing as well you can do. If you are doing a small small bungalow, ka kaam kar rahe ho. so while dealing with the structural consultant, while dealing with the contractor, this core knowledge would be essential. You would know in advance that where beams are going to come, what is going So when you provide your AC positions, your course for ACs and all of the services, you would know wherever you are going to have your structural members as well. So once you're done with the beam framing, the next drawing that you would need to release on site are working drawings, floor plans, which should have your all the door window sizes, the schedules and everything. So this is a complete set of drawing that you would end up preparing from first floor plan, which is always different than the typical floor plan because you have parking below it. So there is a lot of podium slabs, and those kind of things which won't be there in the floor sabo. So first floor drawing, typical floor plans, your refuge floor plans, which now as per the UDC pair, the rules are changed. Now you don't have to provide an entire flat for a refuge area. You can just provide a small extended slab portion, which will be covered during your training in this. Typical terrace drawing with solar panels provision that what is going to be your uh, design to get it sanctioned setting out center line beam placement parking plan your floor plans with schedule which is nothing but your working drawing your electrical plan with a detailed understanding of the legend with a detailed understanding of the legend because what do clients expect these days is architect as a central called as a main consultant as the chief consultant should coordinate with all the consultants, structural, electrical, plumbing, and they should coordinate all of the drawings and give it to us. That is the demand of the industry or else the client faces a tough time. Architect ki drawing or electrical ki drawing match nahi ho rahi hai. 
आर्किटेक्ट की ड्रॉइंग में जो बाथरूम दिखाया है उसके हिसाब से प्लम्बिंग वाले ने जो दिया है वो मैच नहीं कर रहा है प्लम्बिंग की ड्रॉइंग में जहां से पाइपलाइंस जाने हैं वहां पे आई एम हैविंग बीम इश्यू वहां पे कॉलम है तो वहां से मेरी पाइप जा नहीं सकती दिस ऑल थिंग्स क्लाइंट एक्सपेक्ट्स अ आर्किटेक्ट शुड रिजोल्व एट हिज और हर एंड इन द ऑफिस एंड गिव ओवरलैप कोऑर्डिनेटेड ड्रॉइंग्स टू देम सो दिस नॉलेज इज असेंशियल एंड माइंड यू इफ यू प्रिपेयर दिस होल सेट ड्यूरिंग योर कॉलेज डेज एंड यू अप्रोच एनी ऑफिस फॉर योर इंटर्नशिप और जॉब बाय सेइंग दैट आई हैव अ होल प्रोजेक्ट डन विद प्रोफेशनल वर्किंग ड्रॉइंग सेट you will always have higher chance of landing a good internship or a job plumbing drawing elevations north side all the side elevations and the first thing we discussed fsi statement this everything you will be able to prepare in this span of 4 weeks if in case any particular group is slow they are not able to cope up with the speed we will extend it as a doubt solving session even to week 5 and 6 that's completely included in the course to summarize at the end of this course the students would be able to do this particular 14 things understand how do we take client brief requirement fsi statement master layout with external services floor plans with service duct provisions unit plans with beam framing parking plans with column position setting out drawing center line drawing elevation with green building aspects on site sections electrical plumbing fire and ventilation layout this all you would be able to prepare here who are going to be your trainers so we have pranav khabya sir principal architect break and was studio and vivek borate sir a chief engineer with about 29 years of on site experience so a combination of perfect two people could be telling you office and site mein jo antar hai design mein jo bhi clashes hote hai jo bhi communication gap hoti hai from an architect and a civil engineer perspective what is that upcoming youths of architects need to take into consideration all that is beautifully covered in the academics just what are those minor points that differentiates between a fresher architect and an industry ready architect right so this is done so um, you can just whatsapp us and we'll share with you this pdf already you might have received the link of info as well info wali link aayi rahegi bitly ki you can click this you will have this pdf these are the fees at registration you need to pay 2750 and at certification you need to pay the balance 50% so this is kind of a you can say a performance guarantee thing that only based on your satisfaction you will pay the balance 50 this is the link to register you will get it individually and now coming bit to the uh testimonials right so these are the few of the testimonials from leading colleges like bnca dy patel sihagard bricks and all of those you can have a look at this testimonials sir aap yahan pe to sare acche hi rakhoge you can always google know how schools wherein you will find all of the google reviews made good made somewhat not good and you can have uh, always a fair judgment of it um, as i said earlier if you want a list of the students who have done this course prior to you in your seniors please feel free to contact us our contact number is you can note it down from here 9822 366 So you can contact on this number. You'll uh, you'll have Aniket sir attending you, and you can get the details. The details of the upcoming batch. It will start from tenth of July, and will go on to fourth of August. Weekly we'll have three sessions. Monday and Wednesday we'll have design review sessions related to design, and a main thing that architects need to be uh, on site ready as well should understand the civil jargon language as well site pe koi cheez ko kya bolte hai site pe jab aap jaate hai to check kaise karna hai apne ko koi bhi cheez jaise mujhe block work ke checking ke liye bulaya hai as an architect mujhe jaake kaise check karna hai mujhe plumb bob kaise pakadna hai mujhe line dori kaise pakadni hai मुझे वहां पे जाके बस लेंथ और ब्रेक चेक करनी होती है डायगोनल भी चेक करना होता है लेबर्स क्या क्या करके अपने को गलत मिसगाइड कर सकते हैं चेकिंग के वक्त कोई साइट एलिमेंट को क्या बोलते हैं ऑल ऑफ दिस थिंग विल बी कवर्ड एवरी वीक इन अ साइट सेशन नाउ इफ यू स्टे फार ऑफ दिस विल बी अ वर्चुअल विजिट फॉर अस इफ यू स्टे क्लोज टू पीसीएमसी इफ यू कैन कम टू आकुर्डी 
on every Saturdays, this will be an actual visit, a physical visit. So both will have good results to you. Suppose if you happen to miss any particular session, we have an app wherein this recorded sessions will be uploaded as well. And you can always join this particular sessions and you can continue with the design. And in the doubt sessions, we'll get your designs reviewed. And therein our professional architects, civil engineers and MEP consultants will guide you on your particular design. Right. So that's about it. To summarize what's the course about, it's all about adapting your design to various practical requirements from perspective of project manager, electrical, plumbing, HVAC, landscape consultants, and all of those things. Right. So it will really help you to coordinate with all of the stakeholders in our industry. Really good. That's all from my side. Know how schools LLP. Um, a CHDCI recognized startup. I know ISO startup been doing this in the last five years and um, on a motto to ensure that no students graduate as freshers and struggle for a job of 10,000 and 15,000. That's not we are really for. So the only thing that industry wants from us is to be industry ready. And that's what we are trying to do here. So that's all from our side. Any questions from your side? You're free to ask now. That's all from our side. Thank you.